your actual job as a respiratory therapist is quite literally keeping people alive when they can't breathe for themselves. So that's what we have here, and this is what we're demonstrating with these lungs. We control every aspect of their breathing when they're on these machines. How much air they get, the frequency of breaths that they get, and how much oxygen that they're getting per breath, all sorts of things. So every aspect of their breathing we, we control. You guys want to see what they look like when they're not, don't have any, any air? Yes. So you'll see this machine will start to, to uh, alarm here because if you've worked in an ICU, if someone were to come off, the, the ventilator were to pop off of there, we want to know that, right? So we would come in the room and we would have to reconnect them because otherwise they would quite literally pass away. Watch really closely, you'll see them reinflate. And they don't just reinflate like balloons, right? They reinflate at different rates because there's all those hundreds of millions of tiny air sacs, right? So if I were to come here, I can actually make it to where I can, I can basically deflate them myself by uh, turning down how much pressure they have during the expiration phase. So see that? Like now watch between every breath, I can make it to where now they shrink up a lot. I can make them breathe less, breathe more. I can make it now to where they have a lot more air or less, right? Now you can see, now see the difference? Now it didn't, it didn't shrink as much when they exhaled. It's like touching a foam mattress.